Hey, everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Thank you, Coach. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. Steven Hauschka now about set to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. Ryan Tannehill will be orchestrating the offense, the top 10 pick back in 2012. A terrific athlete, started at wide receiver before becoming the starting quarterback at Texas A&M and also took his studies pretty seriously as well. He was a biology major at Texas A&M, planned to become an orthopedic surgeon, but being the eighth pick in the NFL draft, that paid just a little bit better. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now the first carry here for Frank Gore. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Gore again here on first down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Jerry Hughes on the stop. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. On second down, it's Drake. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Lorenzo Alexander brings him down. Quickly now, a look at the Buffalo defense. And Lorenzo Alexander is the ultimate chameleon in the NFL. Has reshaped his body to play different positions. Fullback, defensive tackle, defensive end, outside linebacker, special teamer. He's done it all, and now he's reaping the benefits. Fully entrenched as an outside linebacker in the NFL. Play action, it's Tannehill. He's gonna sling this deep down, and this will be caught at the 30. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Kenny Stills, 64 yards. And the Dolphins are gonna take a first quarter lead. So that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible? Or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. point up and good by Sanders and it's now a 7-0 game five plays there on that drive and it winds up in six points for the Dolphins
Rodgers now to kick this one away. On the return, here's Marcus Murphy. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. It's Josh Allen that'll be orchestrating the offense, a 6'5 quarterback from Wyoming. And partner, when you hear about a 6'5", 235, 240-pound quarterback, you don't often think of him being overlooked coming out of high school, do you? That's exactly what happened to Josh Allen. Overlooked, ended up going to a junior college, Reedley Community College out in California, before matriculating to the University of Wyoming, and the Cowboys were so glad to get him. Allen in first and 10 at their own 24. Here's Allen on first and 10. Throw left side complete to Foster. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. All right, here we go. Three, 19. Here's the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. And now running right through it. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Oh, he's got it going early in this one. That's the Shady McCoy. That's vintage right there, right? Breaking tackles, creating explosive runs. And if they don't take care of this early, look out. This guy's got a big, big day. You know where he got that nickname Shady, by the way? I know you're going to educate me on it. Help me out. Mama. Mama gave him that name when he was a youngster. And if Mama named him Shady, <laughs> we're going to call him Shady. Absolutely. So after the run by McCoy, here's another first and ten. And they'll keep it on the ground with McCoy. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. can get settled in here time expires on the first quarter of action it's a close game here early on and we'll be back to South Florida after this the NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade the sports fuel company but they face a second and long to start things out of a yard and it'll set up
Hey everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday. Thank you, coach. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the New York Jets and the Miami Dolphins. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Miami. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now a first carry for Isaiah Crowell. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold got his man, Robbie Anderson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. fake here on first down. It's caught by Quincy Anunua. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory as they've got it to the 28-yard line. All right, here we go. Now a handoff to Crowell. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Here's 
Darnold now on second down. He's got his man. It's Kurz. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And let's run through the Dolphins' defense. As we shine the spotlight on T.J. McDonald, I see him as a prototypical, old-school, strong safety. In the box, run enforcer, doesn't play as well in coverage, although he can do it at times, but at his best against the run game. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. A shotgun snap for Donald. And this is going to be incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. On now is the kicker, Jason Myers, for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 39. And Myers able to knock it through. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. So a nice opening drive on the road. You get the three points. Part of you wonders if that might hurt them later not getting into the end zone. Well, the good thing is, still first quarter. And they did come out of it with points. In a sense, they could look at it positively and say, hey, we set the pace in this one. I think that's how they'll go about it. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. Ryan Tannehill will be orchestrating the offense, the top 10 pick back in 2012. A terrific athlete, started at wide receiver before becoming the starting quarterback at Texas A&M and also took his studies pretty seriously as well. He was a biology major at Texas A&M, planned to become an orthopedic surgeon, but being the eighth pick in the NFL draft, that paid just a little bit better. Tannehill and the Dolphins break the huddle, come up first and 10 at their own 27. Here's the first carry now for Frank Gore. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Second down, this is Gore. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play.